Back to draft prospects we go, and today's draft pros draft prospect is Jamie Drysdale. So Jamie Drysdale, um, we're in Ottawa because I get a funny feeling Ottawa's going to get a forward and a defenseman out of this draft. The question I have with Drysdale is, based on the scouting reports I'm reading and looking at the overall general picture, is does he play right away, or does he potentially have a year in the OHL what do they do? do you, maybe maybe he goes to Europe if there's an OHL suspension due to what we've got going on around us. be interesting to see what happens with Drysdale. Now, he's number seven on Hockey Prospect. He is number three on ISS Hockey Rankings. He's number three on the NHL Central Scouting List. And he's number five on Elite Prospects. The average is fifth. So he averages out to being the fifth rated prospect. He's 5'11", 180. And the fact that he's 5'11", and we're talking about him as being this highly rated of a defenseman, shows how much the game has changed. It's not that long ago that a defenseman below six foot tall, and you're talking about, well, can he handle it? Can he handle being a top two defenseman in the NHL? All the indications with Drysdale would seem to indicate that that will be the case. Plays for the Erie Otters, 2018-2019, uh, 63 games played, 7 goals, 33 assists, 40 points. 2019-2020, 49 games played, 9 goals, 38 assists, 47 points. And he was part of the World Cha World Junior Championship gold medal franchise uh, for the Canadians in 2020. And so, you know, he's he's already shown that he can be a winner. Uh, his strengths, teamwork, speed, puck handling, passing, agility, and acceleration. Now, this is where, when I'm looking through these these reports i'm saying okay so i see a lot of good things but there are some interesting things they're not talking about that he he doesn't seem to rate as highly with his shot doesn't seem to rate very highly uh the the offensive side of the game might need some work so i'm asking myself is this going to be an offensive defenseman or is this going to be more of a two-way defenseman maybe a guy who might top out at 45 points rather than 65 there's nothing wrong with that just he may not have that explosive upside as an offensive defenseman, which is fine. They've got Shabbat, uh, Brandstrom, they had Drysdale, pretty good defense crew right there. Uh, in in what I read, Agile covers a ton of space on the ice. Was out of the one of one of the uh, reports I was reading, and of course he is the best defenseman in the draft. And there doesn't seem to be much argument about that. This is not an area where we're seeing any debate. So when I talk about the forwards, I can get into who's going to go first. But with Drysdale, he will be the first defenseman off the board. But when does he go? Does he go as high as third? Does he go as late as seventh, according to Hockey Prospect, who have yet to re release their final rankings? Uh, their final rankings will be released, according to their site, after we know exactly when the draft will take place. They're also working on putting together their black book. And, you know, I, I had a discount code for all you fine people last year with the Black Book. I have not heard that, that there'll be a discount code offered to uh, my subscribers this year. I may contact them when the Black Book comes out and say, hey. Now, I'm, I'm a paid uh, account on their on their site right now, so I, I get the Black Book anyways. But uh, And I'm, I'm looking forward to reading that this year because of how deep this draft is. Now, good first pass, I see a lot. I see calm and poised on these... On these uh, reports as well but what i find interesting is when they're rating him it it seems like the physical side of the game not really his game again according to the reports i read and the offense may take a while to get there so this is one of the reasons why i'm wondering if maybe he's not going to be ready to play this year in a draft where there might be a lot of guys who right away jump into the nhl Maybe Drysdale needs a little bit of time. Maybe it'll be a physical size thing. Maybe it's just going to be an offensive side of the game thing. Maybe he'll start out as a 5'6 defenseman playing the defensive side because his skating is supposed to be excellent. His his intelligence when he's away from the puck, it looks like is pretty solid. While he's not known for his board work and his physicality, uh, he seems to be pretty smart. Uh, one of the reports talked about how, how good he is at skating backwards and having that cross... Um, the the you know the the pace you have going backwards. Some of them have that extra pace, and some don't. And uh, yeah, he everything seems to point to him being the best defenseman. My question is, when is he ready? And so, if your team is coming up and you're saying, "Well, we want somebody who can jump in and help us right now," and if they don't view Drysdale as being that guy, 
Do they still say, well, but we really need a defenseman, so we'll pick up Drysdale? Or do they say, well, we'll pick a forward that we believe can help us right now? Because, again, this draft is deep. And Drysdale, I would think, in, in last year's draft, might have threatened to be in the top two. Just from everything I've read about how deep this draft is, comparatively speaking with last year's, he might have threatened to be in the top two last year. And, again, uh, the, the one thing I'm wondering with, Again, looking through these reports, and I looked through about five or six different scouting reports from individual games, and just the overall numbers, and the fact that his sh shooting accuracy, it shows as being kind of kind of low, which for a defenseman isn't that unusual. But I do wonder how much offensive upside is there. So the question I have for all you fine people out there is, with Drysdale, where do you see him going? Like for me, Ottawa is the obvious one. They have two of the top likely top five uh, draft picks this year and if he if he does go does he play this year or is he going to need more seasoning before he reaches the NHL or is he going to be one of those defensemen that comes up and plays right away and maybe his points totals underwhelm us at first but again he seems to make a good first pass he's smart he's uh, poised with the puck and he's smart away from it as well those are all what I was that's what I was reading in all these reports and I, I do just wonder, like, where where is his offensive ceiling at? So let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And hey, Jamie Drysdale, finally, a defenseman is on the board. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.